Hello, I'm John from The Gun Shop at The Gun Shop in Botley Mills. We have here today the Beretta Silver Pigeon 1 Trap Adjustable. Um, this actually is probably my favourite Beretta we've got in at the moment. It's not necessarily the most expensive, but it just there's something about it that is just really, really nice. So, what is it? Um, for those who don't know what it is, um, yeah, once again, it's a Beretta. A Beretta has been made in Italy for a million, million years. They're the oldest gun making company in the world. And um, if you want to know more about Beretta, uh, watch the Beretta video. Uh, but this is the Beretta Silver Pigeon 1 adjustable trap. Uh, you should probably watch our other videos on the Beretta Silver Pigeon 1. Uh, this is identical in terms of action. 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 Uh, but it's not, actually. That's a lie. Um, let's just talk you from start to finish and we'll go from there. All right, we've got a micro core bar pad on the back. Micro core, I'm right. Uh, really nice, soft, adjustable thing. We have a Beretta. B fast adjustable comb, really nice adjustable comb system actually. Um, you have a bunch of shims in here so you will be able to push it down firmly and set it as opposed to some other model systems where you are just sort of floating, hoping and guessing. Uh, this really gives you a nice amount of control. B fast, right? You can take it off, take it back on, you can readjust it. You've got notches on the bottom when you take it off, you can adjust the cast, the face cast there. So you can literally there's lines and notches on that, so you can literally have one setup for trap, one setup for skeet, one setup for sporting, and you can be fast while I was changing it between the three. I think that's kind of why it's called a be fast. I probably should have paid attention whilst reading all their um, stuff, but that was, that's what would make sense to me. So this is why it's called the be fast system here at the gun shop. Anyway, um, comes with some grade one walnut on it, not particularly special, but a nice little finish actually. It seems to be a little bit better than all the others. Moving forward, we have a gold-plated non-adjustable trigger. Um, the grip's a little bit short for it, I would have thought. However, I've got, I don't even have that larger hands. Really, but it does allow you to get your finger around the trigger, whether you like that or not. I don't know whether that's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing. So it's a personal preference thing. That's for damn sure. Um, this trigger is single, but it is not selective. You do not have a selector. This is manual safety catch, non-selective trigger. Bottom barrel first, isn't that exciting? Um, that might be the end of it for a few people if they don't like that sort of thing. However, simplicity is the key to reliability. Ah, there you go, there's a good gun shop catchphrase. Um, take the forend off. The forend is a semi beaver tail forend like the breasts of old. Really nice, just a little bit more chunky and just fills the hand up really nicely actually. Really feels how you say you can. Hold your hand round it in a variety of ways, like any Beautel for and you know, anyone who's using a four will know how nice they are. Not that a Schnabel doesn't look perfect and it can't be shot in exactly the same way, however, consistency, repeatability is sort of a fairly similar thing. If you can repeat, it's a clay shooting gun. I said I'd probably take it out and shoot game and pigeons with it, because, you know, they're all guns at the end of the day. Uh, but this is a trap gun, but you can use it for sporting clays or that sort of thing. However, you can, when shooting clays, the key to hitting lots of them is if you can hit one, it's to do exactly the same for the rest of those ten that you are about to shoot. So, consistency. Uh, there you go. So, that's your stock. The action is a standard Beretta action. Beretta hammers, Beretta springs, Beretta la -di da Beretta locking lugs. Um, as I've said in other videos, the Berettas are so good, oh, mostly, not only, but mostly because of their reliability and their ease of fix if they do break. Because they're off the production line, every part fits like a glove, you just get another one, put it straight in. Ejector brakes, oh, I'll just get another ejector put in. They take a little bit of fitting, but not masses. Um, it starts to wear out, you've got little replaceable trunnions here, you've got two oversizes of those. And if you press this little nipple in here, top nipple goes forward, you'll see we have these locking lugs in here. Aren't they delightful? Those also have two oversizes. So the key to this conversation is that you cannot wear out a Beretta if you're willing to invest a little bit of money to keep it tight. And I say you won't, can't wear a Beretta, of course you can wear it out. It just costs you an absolute fortune to wear out a gun that's not a particular fortune. My favorite thing about this gun is the fact it's fixed choke. So it's very simple. You're fixed at full and three quarter, which is not bad choking. And most of all, with the BFAR system in the back, and the fixed chokes in the front, this gun handles very, very well. Still a touch front heavy, but by comparison to a standard silver pigeon, absolutely fantastic. Um, it weighs a lot, it does weigh a lot, it's well over 8 pounds. There's a few ounces over here, it's 8 pounds 4 this particular model in the 30 inch. But it does just handle so perfectly. 
Um, no, that's a lie, it doesn't handle perfectly, it just handles very, very well. Um, very precisely, yet also extremely fast for a heavy gun. Um, who is this suitable for? I'd say it's suitable for everybody. The book might say it's not particularly suitable for beginners. You don't want to go out with a full and three-quarter choke because you might not stand quite the same chance of hitting stuff. However, the things you're going to struggle on are close range things that you should be finding it easy to hit anyway. You know, if you're going to go and do a shoot an awful lot of skeet, maybe not. If you're shooting at your local straw baler at targets no more than 15 yards away, maybe not. However, you can always get these chokes opened up. Uh, send it off, maybe get it multi-choked. And it's not the issue with multi-chokes as such that I have, it is the fact that the multi-chokes in the end would add weight and as such would make it do this. Um, whereas this gun sits just nicely wherever you put it. Can't really say a lot more than that. The engraving isn't particularly exciting, the wood really isn't particularly exciting. It's laser, laser cut checkering that's not going to make anybody's day particularly um, special. You've got a lovely gold trigger and a lovely little gold retention locking screw there. Apart from that, it's just a Beretta, you know? You're not paying for anything that's going to set your world on fire. However, what you're paying for is something that will last you the rest of your life. And this particular model will. You will never outshoot one of these. Great fit-ass gun, great trap gun. And to be fair, I would say get a second barrel knocked out to a 5 8 You're running 5 8 and 3 quarter. Probably one of the best sporting guns you'll ever shoot as well for, for competitive level. And the best bit about this gun is its price. It's £1,900 for a gun that really does have all of the toys, it's going to shoot just perfectly, and they, that's all I have to say. That is all I have to say. They have a lot, no, they don't have any toys, but they've got plenty enough toys, all the important toys. It handles very, very well and will last you forever and ever. Discontinued. If you can find one, buy it. That's all I have to say.